Morning tubers, just been having a look, see what's on the old tubes today. Yeah, bloke's got a bad knee, got a really bad knee today. I tell you what, it's all that bending down and freaking kneeling on the concrete, that cold concrete, and inside people's houses, they've got, some people have got tiled floors or that hardwood. Yeah, I should have took a pad with me, but I didn't. And now my dodgy knee, the one that I pulled all apart when I was bike racing years ago, is killing me. I think it's like cartilage, but it does that and then it gets better, but wow, it's hurting anyway, enough of that. Let's see, uh, video responses. Um, I've got one from Sean C Farm. Wow, that's some tank you got there, buddy. I have seen that before, but yeah, it sounds like it's running really nice now. Um, I put that in the last video. That's tagged to that. Uh, Derby Head 09. He sent me a video response. That's in the last video. Probably the best demo derby video I've ever seen. I've seen a few, but they're never usually that good. Wow, great, great little video. Cut together great. Massive amount of smashes. You should all go and have a look at that. It's pretty cool. Um, Redneck Rickham put one up. Uh, what should we call it? Game Rage? <laughs> I think it's Game Rage. Hey, buddy, you're not going to come anywhere near my new, my new computer. Not after what I see you do to that one. That's quite funny, actually. Yeah, very funny. I know you do some competition you're going in for, isn't it? I think I didn't really get the gist right to the bottom of it. I should. Um, Smash TV Canada. Yeah, new video up. They're always great to watch. I mean, they've got some. I don't know if anyone's ever been to see them. Smash TV Canada. Uh, yeah, they put so much work into what they do. I met them you know, probably two years ago down at the farm when they started out. They came down great couple of guys they really are they've got a nice team going now do some fantastic stuff i love the parodies that you do especially the one of ancient aliens i mean that made me wet my pants that one did that was funny you should all go and look at that it's really funny and yeah they got a new video up marcel st john st jean um prop you found that prop now i know you looked on you said you looked on uh not kajiji the other one um that looked like the prop that came up that goes on our boat. We got one similar to that. I suppose they all look a bit like that. It's the th the thing in the middle of it that's different. Now I know it was cheap on there where you found it, but we had to buy a new prop once, and I'm telling you, it was a lot more than that. It was over two hundred dollars. So you, if it's a good one, you might you actually you might be able to get more money in the stores. They are expensive. I know that. Um, and I love your tin opener, bud. That's really nice. A really nice tin opener. Uh, Master Milo, um, well, Volvo's, they say they're boxy, eh? boxy European car, well it's certainly compact now isn't it, eh? it really is, go and watch that video, it's quite funny, um, then we've got good old Adam, vlogging life, uh, you've got to get that camera back of yours bud, you really have, you've got to get that camera back, definitely, it's uh, very grainy what I've been seeing come through here, the other camera was much better than that, much much better, yeah, Ford Fusion looks like rubbish. I don't like it at all. Don't like. The, I don't like why they're going that that way with the fronts. I mean, like you said, the Mustangs a little bit like that. Um, they look a bit like. I don't know. They seem to be looking a bit like the old type of Jags. You know, Jags from a few years ago. Don't like it. Don't like that round grille at all. I thought all car manufacturers would have got away from the smiley face, but looks like Ford's going back to it. Um, well, that's about it for that. I've got to go out and paint again. I've got two more doors to do today and then I've got one hopefully tomorrow and I'm finished. I'm all done. So can't wait to get that done. Um, oh yeah, what else happened? Oh, the boy's laptop took a dump. It's, uh, it's absolutely gone. The uh, hard drive, the needle, it keeps loading and then it skips back off all the time um, and just gets a blue screen of death. He's been talking to Adam thanks Adam on the phone and uh, I don't know Adam said he could probably force it and get some of the information off it he was here but uh, he's got all his school stuff on there and his girlfriend put a load of stuff on there from school so that's all freaking lost now oh and loads of photos I was going to do a big photo montage and I think that's lost let's we can get it off there but we're going to go down a day so I'll probably film that we're going to have to go and get him another laptop him something half decent but we're trying to get hold of Adam if you're up well no you won't see this will you what am I talking about we're trying to get hold of Adam and find out what the best bang for your buck is at the moment 
So anyhow, that's what I'm going to get up to today. And maybe go and get that plow. Still haven't picked that plow up yet. So we'll see. Anyhow, I'll take you with me. Let's go and get on with the day. Right, tubes. We're just on our way down to... Where are we going first? We're going to Best Buy today. Best Buy, because what happened to your laptop? Um, Basically, the boot master record failed or something like that, as Adam said, and it will not start up. It gets a B-sod right on the startup screen. So in other words, it took a real so big shit. It, it shat the bed. It's it done. shit the bed done, done. finished. <laughs> and you had loads of stuff on there for school, didn't you? Uh, I had like 32 gigs of music. I had a whole bunch of Excel sheets yeah. I need for my classes. Uh, that, my girlfriend's project was on there, yeah. believe it or not, so she's pissed at me now too. And that's all <laughs> That's all now gone to the great gig in the sky. It's gone. Done. It's done. <laughs> Unless Adam can retrieve it, he reckons he yeah. might be able to. He said that we should go out and buy an external hard drive enclosure and then put it in another computer and then take it off there, but that's way too much money and too much time really. Yeah. So Another day. Anyhow, yeah, we're going to go and buy a new laptop, so we're going to go to a couple of shops and have a look. And uh, see what we can get. We've talked to Adam, like he said. I'm so excited! And Adam's given us some good <laughs> tips on what he reckons is good out there at the moment, and what you really need to, you know, together in the laptop. So, uh, you know, we're going to go and do that. So we'll get back to you in a little while. Maybe one happy camp, or there might be one, one right pissed off kid. We'll see. <laughs> right, tubers. I think we've got a happy camper. What you got? Show them. All right, guys. Hold on to your hats, we've got a MacBook Air. Nice, and it's the fast one. It is the best model that they had at the store. Um, it's 11.3 inch screen, four gigs RAM, 256 gigabytes uh, solid state, or um, flash drive I mean, and Intel i7, so pretty legit. That means absolutely nothing to me, like big pile of spaghetti. <laughs> That's what you heard. But. Anyhow, we're gonna go home, and maybe we'll do a little bit of an unboxing video and show them, eh? Maybe. Show Definitely. Him, show him, yeah. Okay then, let's get going because I know he wants to undo this. Nice and we get home. So we're off. <laughs> Alright, come on then, get that damn box undone. I don't want it. Yes, you're going to go on. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. We're not going to make this really long. I'm going to cut this a bit. Okay. So first of all, you're going to open it, alright? Okay. There's all the specs. I don't know if you can see it. You can always pause this and have a look. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think it's on there. That's the specs, anyhow. All right. Wow. We got that. What's that lot in there? Uh, power bar, brick thingamajig, um, power cord, charger, user manual, and that is all. That's, That's all it. We got. Pretty simple. Wow. Well, okay. Let's get it uh, running. Let's get it running, and then we'll have another look at it, eh? Oh dear. I think that's Adam calling me. <laughs> oh. Very nice. Oh, it's so pretty. You can work to how to work it now? Yeah. What, already? Fair enough, yeah. This is not too... Not that hard, eh? No. I just need to... Uh, Looks pretty well similar, it's except it's got all the things on the bottom, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, instead of having like a on the side, start menu yeah. or like a desktop, it's like... Not that hard to use, I reckon even I could use that. Just stuff in here? Yeah. Launchpad, you have all your applications. It's just the same. Yeah, it's just the same, really, isn't it? Yeah, just different way around it. It's all exactly. very nice. It's beautiful. Very good. Well, we're off to the store now again to buy some more food. Uh, not much food. Not much food. Let's go get some potatoes, potatoes, haven't we? Potatoes. I think we're going to have some home fries, and we got these buffalo wing things, box from that was on cheap. So I think we're going to have those tonight. But yeah, it's been a I don't know if we can afford any food. It's been a really expensive day today, hasn't it? Yeah, and you've only done one door. Well, I finished them nearly, haven't I? Yeah, thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen hundred dollars for that MacBook, but oh, I don't know. We went down and had a look, and it's definitely the best way to go. I don't think I'll get across. I got to go now because we're trying to get across this traffic. Right then, tubers, it's filler time. So what are we going to talk about, eh? Um. Yeah, went down to Best Buy's to buy that that Apple, what is it called? MacBook Air. MacBook Air, right? And of course, you get the guy and he takes you around to the till and everything. And he says, oh, would you, sir, would you like to buy some warranty? Warranty, yeah? Manufacturer's warranty. Manufacturer's war no, it comes with manufacturer's warranty. Would you like to buy some extra warranty yeah. for your future shop? And I say, hmm, don't know about that. It's $300, buddy, isn't it? And I said, well, no, I don't want to do that. Because I'll tell you what, 
I talked to the rep in here and he said these things are bulletproof. Okay, you can buy a lemon, you know you can, everybody can buy a lemon, and it'll all go wrong. But uh, these things are pretty pretty good, right? And they're not going to go wrong because they got, what, solid state drive, they got ooh, lots of other things and bits and pieces going on. Um, but they come with a warranty from the manufacturer for one year. Now let's see, if you get one year out of it and it hasn't gone wrong, <coughs> if you drop it, you're absolutely done anyhow, everybody knows that. Same with an iPhone or anything. Um, but if it actually like self-destructs within the year, they're going to fix it for you for nothing, right, and get it done. Uh, if you do drop it, then you can take it in, they'll fix it and you pay for it. Um, but if it runs over the year, then you've got to pay for it yourself. Now what's really going to go wrong with one of those? Uh, maybe not a lot. Maybe not a lot's going to go wrong with it. Um, say it runs for nearly two years, right? Now, you've not paid out the $300, have you? Now, that $300 in two years' time, with the way the technology goes, technology is going to be so much better. $300 is going to buy you a lot of laptop, especially even with an Apple, a lot of laptop extra. So, if you only keep this thing for two years and you sell it on eBay and make a little bit of cash, put the $300 to it and a bit more, you're going to get something that's absolutely spanking a lot better. So you're actually taking a gamble, aren't you? You're taking a real gamble. Do I pay $300 plus the taxes or do I just go with it? Well, we just went with it and that's what we did. And I think that's the best way to go. Now, if this thing shits the bed in 13 months... Ryan's out of pocket, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, we're all out of pocket, yeah? But that's the gamble we're going to pay. Anyhow, there you go. There's the filler for tonight. Next, we're going to... What are we going to eat tonight, eh? Mmm, bloke's hungry. Right, tubers. For tonight, we are going to have... Let's have a look. I have done some fries. I know it's quite a lot there, but there's four of us eating. And I'm going to do that in the bitchin' fryer, you know, love. Yep, the bitchin', bitchin fryer. fryer, which is healthy for you. It's not totally unhealthy. It depends on how much you use it. Yeah, and if you use it right, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, we don't even know it again. We don't overuse it. So we've got the old tea fowl going, right? We've got it going, and then we're going to have these. See those chicken breast strips, and they're like they're like buffalo style. They're like buffalo wings and they have no bone in them. Look, there they are. Pinties. And we're going to do those on a tray. I could deep fry them, but we're not going to. Because we don't want to add any no. more calories. Well, no, but they'll probably do better in the oven. So we've got fries, buffalo wings, and we're going to make a little bit of salsa sauce with a little bit of mayonnaise and some ketchup to dip in. It's going to be really good. And I'll get back to you when I get this all fried up. And I'll show you. But that's what we're having for tea tonight. You know, right, missus? Yep. It's going to be well, wicked, isn't it? Yep. Wicked. Are you excited? I'm famished. You're not excited, though, are you? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> right then, tubers, eh? Um, let's see. We've done the old, didn't the old dinner. Let's have a look. Got a load of fries there. Now, they've only been done once on a low heat. Because you've got to double dip them, turn the heat up and get them really good. So you want to get them moist inside, nice and spongy, and then fry the outside. Got some more there. That's the first lot. That's the second lot. No, hang on. That's the first lot. That's the second lot. I'm going to do it in a minute. Got a deep fryer. Turned her right up now. She's ready. And in the oven, we've got those. Look, they're looking really good. Right, so we're going to have that. And we're going to make a little bit of a dip up to go with them. Maybe a little bit of mayo and a little bit of salsa. Maybe a little bit of hot sauce or something and go with them. It's going to be absolutely fantastic on a plate. So, anyhow, look, I've got to get this done because I'm freaking starving again. Had a couple of beers. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Hope you had a great day with me. Um, who the frick knows what's going to happen tomorrow? Am I going to go painting? Might have a day off. Might have a day off and actually go and pick the car up. Maybe I'll go and pick the old crazy hillbilly up and take him with me. And we'll have a bit of a laugh. Go over to Joe's, drop it off. We'll see. I don't know. Or maybe I'll go painting. I don't know. 
whatever, we'll, we'll get around to things. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.